Hello, I'm Steve. Welcome to the Patio Heat Channel, where we provide visual concepts of infrared heating as well as tips for outdoor comfort. Send your request into designs at patioheat.com for your personalized recommendations. Our one-on-one -on -one customer support helps you make the best decision for your application. We strive to earn your business. Visit our patioheat.com website for sales and more information. Now let's get heating. All right, so here we have this residential patio. There's gonna be an add-on um, patio section, which is this outer edge here. Let's go right into, first of all, the um, floor plan I received. So here's the floor plan, and I just wanted to see that, um, I'm actually gonna move this down a few uh, feet here. And just so you can see that I matched up everything according to these dimensions out here. And um, you know, even inside here, all these dimensions here were pretty much matched up and um, just uh, keep that in mind that I did try to follow that as best as possible and then also um, I received a ceiling plan and you can see that the ceiling plan there was a slight change here on the uh, window area here um, but I think everything else is pretty much uh, fairly accurate so um, just note that there is a slight change right here. All right, so let's just get that out of the way here and turn this off here. Let's look at the overall dimensions that I do have. Whoops, sorry about that. So the overall dimensions I do have, so I have 34 feet, one and seven eighths of an inch from this edge here to here. Here you can see I have 16 foot four, almost five. Um, this little, this is a fireplace over here and I have at uh, nine foot nine, nine foot 10 and here we have 13 foot there is a doorway over here I have this section nine uh, excuse me six four 14 seven from this edge here to this edge here and uh, six three four seven and uh, three three and five eighths here uh, 16 feet from this edge here to the outer edge of the wall and you can see that this uh, rooftop here is, uh, I have I think, I think I have about 18 inches out from this edge here. So there is a new beam that's gonna cross over here. There's another existing beam, or this is a new beam uh, possibly here as well. Uh, they do want some fans out here, and um, there is gonna be some recessed lighting now. They're gonna work around the heaters they had mentioned uh, for this recessed lighting. And I should also mention, this is going to be, um, I believe, a tongue and groove um, or wooden surface uh, ceiling. It's a flat surface ceiling. And that ceiling, it's um, designed at 11 feet off the finished floor. So I think that's about it. We have a, a bar stool seating over here. I put a dining table here in the center, a little reclining space here, and then a small reclining space over here. And I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and turn off those dimensions and look at what my um, options might be. They do want flush mount uh, heaters. And so what I did is I took um, the first flush mount unit and these are gonna all be 6,000 watt units with possibly the exception of this one over here. And I'll talk about that in just one minute. But I took this first one here and placed it centered within this wall to this wall here. Um, centered it within the beam here so from this edge of the beam to this edge of the beam uh, so the heater centered it within that span there and then um, from this point here I went nine feet center to center and nine feet center to center on this unit from here to here um, same thing over here except that uh, what I did over here is I came from uh, this unit here, this edge of the unit, not the flush mount kit itself, but the edge of the unit here, I came to um, from 18 inches from this beam to that edge. And that's true on this one as well. And then um, now you could center it. Um, there is a clearance that you need to meet. So clearance below the heaters are 18 inches from the edge of the heater out on all four sides. You can see that. 18 inches and that's my 18 inches over here um, over here however I took um, the center from I believe the center point from here this beam here to this wall and use that as the center point sorry my mouse is going a little slower here but so from this edge here to this edge here 
and then that would be the center point of the heater. And again, it's still nine foot off of this unit here, over nine feet center to center. And um, so other than that, I think this would be um, good for meeting all clearances to combustibles. And uh, you can see I have placed the fans in the center of that. So that would be four and a half feet from the center of the heater to this uh, fan center. And same with this one here. Now, um, talking about the, uh, well, let me go this route first. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the clearances. And um, what I want to talk about is when you do a flush mount kit, so what I've done is right now they're on the surface. You can see the frame itself on the surface. However, I believe it looks much better if you were to move it um, up into the ceiling and attach it to the ceiling joist. Um, I'm going to go uh, just with a uh, half inch here. Um, but you can see when you do that, um, you can bring the finished uh, wood surface. Let me tap out of there. The finished wood surface all the way up to one half inch from this hole here out. Uh, one half inch would be the minimum uh, distance. Now what you're looking at here is the actual uh, one hour fire rated drywall. Let me just move that up out of the way so you can get a better view of that. I'm going to go just another quarter inch higher than it's supposed to be. But uh, in any case, this is what you will visually see. And uh, again, a half inch from this edge to this edge. Now, when you mount it up um, above the finished ceiling itself, you really need to make sure that you move the heater itself so that it's at the same elevation as the combustible material so that you are still meeting those clearances to combustibles below the heater. So you can see that now we're at the same elevation. Let me go ahead and turn this off real quick. And uh, there we go. So you can get a better view of that. But you can see here um, we're at the same elevation of the thickness of the finished ceiling. And that, was, my opinion, makes it a much better visual um, aspect. So. Um, I just did it on this one here. The rest of them need to be adjusted in order for you to see that all. But uh, in any case, um, that's what I would recommend. Now, they did mention that they have some ceiling. Um, I'm going to call them rafters. It could be joists. Now, I don't have those designed in here. Sorry about the, the mess in there. But uh, uh, the ceiling... Uh, uh, joists are going to be eight inches in height and there's also going to be rafters that come up here for the ceiling or rooftop itself so um, there should be no issue with regards to clearance above but you do need a minimum of eight inches from the top uh, of the um, one hour rated fire drywall uh, seven eighths drywall from this edge here up eight inches is the minimum for that um, uh, opening and you can see in here we have the heater um, mounted inside of the flush mount kit so this would be the flush mount kit this is the one hour rated drywall and this is the heater itself so all right so let's go ahead and look at the footprint of heat that you would get with this application and i'm going to go into this first of all so again these are all 6000 watt units and a 6000 watt unit would probably be too hot the majority of times for a bar stool seating height because you're sitting basically about one foot higher than the um, normal seating height and because of that you're one foot closer and the intensity is a little bit hotter so I would definitely either use controls on all you know six units or at least um, reduce this to maybe a 4000 watt unit and go with a single element here above the bar stool seating area uh, not sure if this space how it's going to be utilized maybe this table actually belongs over there um, but uh, Whatever the case is over here, I'm not quite sure, but you might uh, may or may not wish to have these additional two units over here. So, all right, I think that's about it. So, um, yeah, well, thank you very much for watching. If you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application and you would like us to review your plans, send your information into designs at patioheat.com. I'm Steve. 
please tap that like button if you find that this video useful. We don't advertise, not monetize. YouTube does not promote our channel in any way unless we receive a thumbs up from our viewers. And in most cases, that's how you probably found our channel as well, is just by giving it a simple thumbs up. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Have an excellent day.